Now, banks and other financial institutions are preparing for a series of cyber war games to prevent and prepare for serious cyber attacks. To look more at this and other issues, I spoke a short time ago with the Home Affairs Minister, Claire O'Neill. Cyber security is national security for our country and it was disappointing to arrive in government ten and a half months ago to find that after having no cyber security minister and an outdated strategy that didn't get implemented, we were very well, um, far behind where we needed to be. So there is an absolute power of work being undertaken at the moment to prevent cyber attacks and to make Australia a hard target against them. But what Australians need to understand is that even if we get to best in the world, which I truly believe we will, and even if we do all of the things that we need to to deter cybercrime in Australia, we are still going to see cyber attacks. And part of us being a nationally secure country is being able to get back up off the mat very quickly when we're hit with a cyber attack. So what the Australian government is doing is starting something that business have called for and asked for, which is for us to collaborate with industry to run large-scale national cyber exercise. So what that means is that we will essentially um, uh, d design a set of scenarios that might be cyber attacks, for example, on banking and finance. Perhaps we, we model what would happen if one of our big banks went offline for a period of time. How would the government work and how would the sector work together to make sure that while that technical incident was being resolved, the impact on Australian citizens is as minimal as possible. So it's a really important thing for us to be doing and we're starting that fairly soon with banking and finance. Latitude Financial have said they're not going to pay a ransom. Uh, do you think, as a government, should you make it illegal for companies, given how counterproductive ransoms are mm -hmm. in this context, should it simply be made illegal? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a really important question and can I say with regard to latitude, it is a firm position of the Albanese government that we urge Australian companies not to pay ransoms. When you pay a ransom, you are paying a criminal and giving them proceeds of a crime. What we've seen with Optus and Medibank and latitude is when ransoms are not paid, the word actually gets out in the crime community and people are talking about the fact that increasingly Australian companies will not support cybercrime and the proceeds of that crime to flow to criminals. So it's very important that we try to stand strong on this as a country and I'm supportive of what Latitude has decided to do. With regard to the policy question, it's complicated, Kieran, and the reason it's complicated is because there are times when, um, you know, that the costs of paying a ransom or not paying a ransom are different. Think about a ransomware attack which locks down a major hospital system when it might be the only one servicing a particular regional area. So that, that doesn't mean that we shouldn't um, proceed. It's just that we've got to think this through really carefully and we're having really good discussions with business at the moment about how we can help create an environment where ransomware payments are um, very, very unusual. That's what I'd like to see.